Hello there, and welcome to another Feng Shui lesson from Feng Shui for Us. My name is Monica Staneda, and I am the founder of Feng Shui for Us and the creator of the Nine Steps to Feng Shui system. And today, I would like to discuss with you the ways in which your home may be making you feel afraid. And there's going to be two parts to this lesson. First, we're going to talk about the obvious things that you're going to see with your common sense right away. Yeah, that would increase my feelings of not being safe. And therefore, it would increase my fear. But there are other more hidden ways in which your home could be making you afraid. So let's talk about the obvious, right? Your home is going to be making afraid if there's anything in your home that is a potential danger or disaster. So for example, if you have any device in your home that has been short circuiting, you know, if there's a danger that you could have a short circuit that could cause a fire, of course you're gonna be afraid. Another thing that would make you afraid is it, excuse me, if there are any tripping hazards in your home. If there's a legs protruding from a chair where you could trip, if there's a piece of a rug, you know, rugs that are not very good quality, they curl on the edges. You know, there's a rug where everybody's always tripping on that. If there is a board in your staircase that is actually flexing going down when you step on it, if your handle uh, on the staircase is not very sturdy if it jiggles, that's going to make you afraid because obviously those are potentials for danger, potentials for accidents. Other things could be a coffee table with sharp corners where everybody at some point or another has hit their shins. It could be also cables on the floor because cables on the floor and are really bad feng shui because you could trip on them, because you could step on them, because it, uh, if there ever was um, a flood in your home, you have cables on the floor, you are increasing the risks of a short circuit. So certain things in your home increase your sense of fear because it's obvious that they, there may be causes for problems or accidents or potential accidents in the future. Those things are going to make you afraid. And there are more subtle things that could make you afraid. For example, I have spoken often before about knives in those wooden blocks on top of your counter. There's a reason why every single horror movie has a block of knives on a counter in a scene in the beginning and later on in the movie, you see that one of those knives is missing. There's good reasons for that. Any knives that are exposed like that, they are a higher potential for um, violence. I have had clients who had a terrible situations with family members who grabbed a knife that was too accessible on the counter. And so there are those things, right? For example, if you have a front door that is all glass or it has enough glass, that would be really easy for somebody to break a pane of glass and stick their hand in to unlock the door. That's gonna make you afraid. But there are even more more subtle ways in which your home could be making you afraid. And one of those is if your home is not a complete shape. So a complete shape could be an octagon, a circle, a square, or a rectangle. Now, octagons and circles, those are not the usual shapes we have in homes today, right? So you're looking more to a rectangle or a square as a complete shape for a home. But when a home is irregular, that's going to trigger some fears in you, and I'll tell you why. When people were still living in caverns, right, the, the cave, was the refuge for the primitive man. And the cave was uh, rounded, right? It, um, it didn't have weird shapes. You know, most caves tend to be rounded or you go from one kind of rounded or oval chamber to the next. And, uh, and I'm talking, of course, you know, there, there can be cave systems that are like labyrinths where the person could be lost and uh, that would, even the thought of that can create some apprehension, right? But the, the usual place where the caveman would make their home would be a kind of a rounded cave. And when people started to make their first uh, homes, to build their first homes, they were also rounded. And then at some point they started, they discovered the right angle and they started making their houses into squares or rectangles. For most of the history of humanity, 
these have been the shapes of homes. That's what gives you security. That's what gives you a sense of being complete, a sense of wholeness. Now, when you start um, breaking away from this square or rectangular home, you have a reg an irregular shape house. If the house is a C shape, or if it's an L shape, or if the house has some really weird shape with missing corners all over the place, like happens actually with a lot of high-end homes, you know, they're gonna have really irregular shapes. When that happens, there's a sense of loss of safety in a person. And if your home is incomplete, there's always gonna be a sense that you're gonna have that your life is incomplete, that your life is not fulfilled. So in the feng shui, we do things in the inside and the outside of the home to change your perception of the home. So even though the home is not complete, it feels to you like it is complete. It gives you the feedback that it is complete. Another thing that can make you feel afraid is um, a sense of imbalance in the home. You know, there's so many horror movies where there is a scene in a long and narrow hallway. I'm sure that as soon as I said this, you know, you could bring up in your mind different uh, movie scenes, horror movies, where you had a scene with some uh, weird apparition at the end of the hallway coming at you. And so a hallway is imbalanced because it's too narrow and it's too long. So it's going to create a sense of lack of safety for you. A staircase that has no landing or a staircase that is too steep, it holds within itself the idea that there could be trouble. So for example, if you have a very, um, very young person, like a toddler or a baby, in a home with a staircase that is really steep, you're always going to be worried about that baby that told her not getting on the stairs by themselves. And if you have an elderly person, if you are caring for an elderly relative, for example, you're always going to try and make sure that when they go up or down the stairs, there's somebody there to help them because you know there's a factor of danger within a staircase because when people roll down the stairs, they can get hurt badly. And so having a staircase that is too steep, and especially if that staircase has no landing, that's going to give you a sense at home that things aren't safe. Now, in Feng Shui, we're not going to tell you to remodel. We're not going to tell you to get rid of your staircase, but we're going to do things around the staircase so that the staircase doesn't feel like it's so steep, so that you feel more balanced and at ease in your staircase. Then. Also, the relationship of the front door, you know, what you first see when you open your door is going to give you a sense of your home. So if you open the door and the first thing you see is a bathroom, you're going to feel like everything's going down the toilet. If the first thing you see when you open the door when you come into your home is a laundry room, you're going to feel like you're constantly doing laundry and, laundry and housework and just there's a never an ending to um, housework. And so you need to work with your home to control what you see when you come in, right? And so if the first thing you see when you open the door is a staircase, you're going to feel like everything is hard work. If the staircase is going up, if the staircase is going up, down, you're going to feel like everything's going downhill. So in Feng Shui, we place art, we use colors to guide your eyes as soon as you open any of the doors from outside that leads from the outside of your home to the inside. We control what you see to make sure that you get good feedback when you come in. And so when you open the door to your home and what you see is not pleasing, when what you see is not giving you the feedback, then you're gonna feel like life is not good and that things aren't working for you. So I wanna invite you to join my new free class the three superpowers of your home so you can learn more about how you can make simple changes in your home so that instead of making you afraid, your home helps you feel more secure.